I'm beyond the point of who's the murderer. Fixated on the philosophy which produced them, grew them, grew them, filtered them into civil playgrounds that now resemble concrete jungles. These posters treat African animals and black babies the same, the flesh is the same anyways. I'm beyond the point of who's the murderer. In love with the doctrine that doctored them, stitch witchery, witchcraft, voodoo, and shit made spiritual consciousness corrosive. Corrosive the people to spread it, fertilize and eat from it. It married you long ago. Spoke ceremonious vows even with a British accent for flavor. 24 days later, weeping, stained you shut truths. Speak words of truths, because youth are impressionable. So teach them complacency, lack agency. Look forward in line, manufacture you. Industrialized lies, historical hiccups, genetic deletions, cultural genocides, they have to die. I'm beyond the point of who's killing black babies. They want me to be beyond the point of who's killing black babies to romanticize the narrative. Allow the literature to consume. Lose myself in theory, glorify this master's and PhD, condition myself in institution, forget to be human, and in due time, write restitution into theory. So I will never be beyond the point of who's killing black babies. I watched 17 year old Cedric Chapman's body become the conquest of an American patriotism. The cop raised fisted foot tailored into the spine of this baby's back as if his back was designed to bear the burden. But we keep these closet doors shut because these skeletons are alive. And the only option is to subtract life, create a voided vessel, make these people believe these aren't babies, even though Tamir Rice was playing with a fucking toy gun, but characterize the criminal. Blacken the youth, set the mood, and watch as we forget the narrative. Watch as we forget the murderers, but remember the narrative. Hey.